All right, so on top of all the updates we got as of right now, there's a lot of updates. We got the Yatsin Retrofit. So I haven't done mine yet. I'm doing it right now. That's why I saved it. The Retrofit's available. So if you guys have Yatsin, you go ahead and click on her. Top left, Retrofit. Boom. Let's go ahead and knock this out. Um, because she isn't elite, it's going to cost a lot. I think it's like probably 45-ish K or so. So make sure you guys have coins because it's going to be very, very expensive. I'm probably going to drop to like zero after this, but well, it's actually not that bad. Well, eh, it's like all right, but still pretty expensive though. Hit this, use the bullet, and then boom, we got a skill. Gotta say, this looks really nice for um, a retrofit. No panties. So yeah, um, no panty lovers. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, do that, hit this, and boom. I think that was like 30, 30k or so. That's actually not that bad. That's actually really... Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's interesting. Anyways, though, let's talk about her retrofit and what it did to her. We have a new skill we got to level up as well, too. That's going to be fun. Uh, regardless, though, uh, since I don't have the last skill maxed out, we'll go ahead and talk about it on the wiki as usual. But just to see, let you guys see what it looks like, here you, go, here you guys go see it in game. So, the retrofit. What did it give us? So, from 120 to 120 retrofitted, she got about 240 health, I think. Yeah, 240 health. 55 more firepower. 35 more anti-air. 5 more reload. 15 more evasion. Still light armor. Speed still same. Look, everything else. So, pretty much everything else stayed the same, but a little bit, for more, defen uh, a little bit more offensive abilities. As well as a little bit more defensive abilities as well too. So just a little bit upgrade. Definitely not bad though. So going to efficiency. She has some major gun improvements. From 130 to 145 on the main gun for light cruiser. That's very good. 120 to 135 on the second light cruiser gun. The auxiliary gun. Also really nice as well too. And anti-air got a 5% uh, increase. So overall offensive wise she definitely got a significant boost a lot of the gun efficiencies are up there so that's really good and then stat wise she got a pretty decent upgrade still low on the health but it's all right the health is just yeah it's just i think that's the chinese uh vanguard thing in general i guess backline as well too but lacking there anyways though uh when it comes to skill her yellow skill got changed. Dragon Emperor Bond became Dragon Emperor uh, Bond Plus. And what happened with this is, when the battle starts, if there are any other Dragon Emperor ships in your fleet, decrease Yatsin, uh, Ninghai, and Pinghai's damage taken by 8% up to 20%. So that pretty much stays the same. Uh, increase their evasion by 30% also stays the same. And the new part right here, as well as just... Um, this, I think this just... So basically this part is new and the last part is new, which is the last part is increase your Dragon and Breeze ships damage dealt by 5%. So this right here is much more versatile. Now she's not locked into using Ping High or Ning High uh, for to get this buff or whatever. So it's actually pretty good. 5% damage increase kind of whatever, but it's not bad. Definitely can pair this up with the two Chinese uh, DDGs or whatever, the torpedo ones, uh, since they do do a pretty good damage on light armor. So this opens up pretty much having Yatsin as like a slight buffer, not an amazing one, but like a 5% increase, I guess. It's, I guess it's something that has 100% uptime, but it's a 5% increase. Overall, she has a damage reduction though, so that's nice, but it's kind of there. We were used ping high and ning high though. I feel like their days have definitely gone old. If that makes any sense. Like you don't see them as much anymore when they used to be pretty okay. They don't do damage, but they're pretty durable. So you have they had that going for them. Nowadays though, it's just all about damage, damage, damage. So yeah, you're pretty much better off using Chinese DDs with this if you want to use some kind of Vanguard buffer. It's not the best one, honestly. You're better off bringing like a Vanguard or, or uh, an Avro or something compared to Yatsin. But hey, if you want to use ch uh, full Chinese uh, Vanguard fleets, then having Yatsin as like a 5% damage buffer definitely help. And definitely, definitely help. Uh, for the Dragon Emperor, it stays the same. Damage dealt to Sacred Empire ships is still 25%. And the new skill she got right here is, as you guys see, is this level 1 skill right here that I have. Um... 
Plum flower in the cold night. So increase the ship's speed by 8. Every 12 seconds fires a level 10 special barrage based on skills level. If the ship has the plume petal poetry gear equipped, which we're currently farming as of right now, one of the events. Pretty good. So it's like a, a very beefy HP auxiliary, so definitely not bad. Uh, improve this barrage, so that's damage increase. Decrease all your other Dragon Emperor Vanguard ships uh, damage taken by 5%, and decrease the main fleet damage taken by 10%. So, an extra 5% on top of what she already has. So, on top of that, I think that's like 25% damage increase on top of her other skill right here. So, that's 25% damage reduction. Um, she does make the van uh the main fleet take 10 percent less damage as well too so chen hai and the new girl we got Hua Jia, um now they don't stink as fast but they're still really squishy though so i mean it does open up options that's for sure but i don't know whatever i also forgot about harbin harbin can probably benefit from uh these skills as well too five percent damage increase um damage reduction for harbin Definitely does open up more options for easing up vanguards. But I do feel like you just want to run two Chinese deities and call it a day. I mean, Harbin is definitely not bad though, but probably better off doing that. So, the retrofit for Yatsin basically made her a little bit stronger um, offensive-wise and, offensive and defensive-wise. She has an extra barrage. Her first skill is more versatile. And now it gives 5% more damage to Vanguards for Dragon Empery. Um, more damage reduction for Vanguard and Main Fleet. So if people want to play a full uh, Dragon Empery uh, fleet, definitely can do that. And she has a little bit more speed as well too. So she's not super, super slow. So overall, this retrofit is catered towards people that want to play Dragon Empery solely. Now I know they don't have like the... the, the like the absolute like a lot of ships like you can probably make uh i think you can make a full fleet now if i'm not mistaken let me see uh for the dragon empery well no no we're still lot okay we're still back to two um maybe eventually though uh but we do only have two as of right now so maybe one day you can run a full fleet definitely yasin has to be there though but for the most part though this retrofit is mainly just for full dragon empery a little bit of damage reduction, a little bit of offensive abilities for herself, a little bit more speed. Overall, this retrofit is not bad, but definitely catered more towards playing faction only. So it's that. But this this retrofit does look pretty nice. Though. I know a lot of people said this retrofit does look nice. I gotta agree to that. We got big, big stockings coming in hot. No panties as always. So definitely is an attractive retrofit by all means. So. That is it for Yatsin's retrofit. Um, definitely an, an okay one. Could have been better, but hey, maybe one day Dragon Emperor might, be, might get like a crazy good ship and a crazy good fleet, maybe. But if, if they do though, then Yatsin can probably slot in there comfortably and do probably just fine. Otherwise though, not a bad retrofit, design-wise at least. So <laughs> there's that. Anyways though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next video.